Coach Marinelli, this, first off, I just told you, my first year as a head coach, this is bigger than the wrestling room. This, this area we're standing in, the lobby area of your uh, re- uh, facility that was built for wrestling mm-hmm. here at Liberty High School. And, and we're in Powell, Ohio, correct? Yes, Powell, Ohio, yes. So we're just north of Columbus. Mm-hmm. But this is the most amazing uh, wrestling facility I've ever seen for a high school. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and you got to do some of the designing and it had some input here. Yeah, it really started on a napkin. Uh, really, I'm just sketching stuff out and going going a couple places. I I went and looked at Mason's wrestling room because they got a phenomenal wrestling room and Moeller and a couple other places and started sketching out what I think uh, a good facility should be like and then narrowing it down to s- space and funds and things like that. So, you know, this was part of it, having a good lobby where you can come in, you're not cramped, where you can have a trophy case, a couple of water fountains and a, and a ticket office. But it's new. This is a new facility, oh, yeah, so I don't think people understand. Like, they'll probably have some graphics on the wall and a trophy case. That's just not here yet. No, not yet. Because this opened last January, yeah. right? So, and, and that's part we're starting to starting to. We wanted to get our space and see what we've got, because when you see something on paper, it's totally different than when it comes to actually being built. So we're start still tinkering around with what we exactly want to do with it. But I, I know what you want to do with it. You want yeah. to have duels here, and you've had duels here. Yeah, we've had some great duels. So something I've never seen in a wrestling room, yeah. Yeah. for a wrestling room specifically, mm-hmm. is the ticket office. Ticket office. Tell me about the ticket office and what was the idea here? Um, well, we want to be able to uh, collect. It's a standalone site facility, so we want to be able to collect our uh, tickets and purchase them and then use those also to generate um, some computer systems out there to run our scoreboards and some of the other stuff that we do and we want it to kind of be set alone from the rest of the facility so now if it's a Friday night or a Saturday night or whatever and we want to run a dual meet then we got our ticket office we got everything set up we don't you don't have to get the gym from the athletic director and, t- and deal with basketball yeah, yeah. that's pretty awesome yeah. coach. and that's and rare we'll have to move mats yeah so no mat the- moving <laughs> I really that, like that every coach really would have, would want that okay so when I come in here you know it's just like I, I walk in and I'm just like, I couldn't believe it. You, you've been talking to me about this for a while. And I'm like, man, when's he ever going to stop talking about this? Yeah. <laughs> I get what you're talking about now. This place is ridiculous. Okay, and those, those are permanent bleachers, correct? Yeah, permanent bleachers. We can seat over a thousand um, with those and some bleachers we can pump in for uh, duels. So we'll bring, we can bring six or eight extra bleachers in and we have a spotlight in the middle. We put a 42 by 42 mat down. And we have the team sit on the mats. We have carpet and then team across one another. And, you know, it was really a good atmosphere. I've been teaching and coaching for a long time. And our duel with Marysville and Delaware Hayes this year was one of the top two or three things I've ever done in wrestling. Over a 1,000 people at a high school du- duel meet in your wrestling room. Yeah, I don't know exactly how many people were here, but it was a lot. It was a lot of people. So you guys actually don't, these six mats, yeah. and this is six full mats. Six full mats. This is yeah. no exaggeration. With with buffer in between, these yeah. these lines aren't running up to each other. No, they're not. I, I'm just going to put this out here to you. Yeah. I just, and I love the Walsh Iron Man. Yeah. You have more space in your wrestling room than the Walsh Iron Man floor has. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hating. I, lo- space, I love the Walsh. Space is good. The space is good. Yeah. The Walsh Iron Man, even if you look, though, their lines run into each other almost. There's yeah. not two or three inches between their lines and the mats. We're having the best yes. high school wrestling in the country. And Your wrestling room has three runners in between each. Three runners, yeah. So you could have six wrestle-offs at once if you wanted to. Yes, and we got two big scoreboards, and then we got uh, six standalone um, Dactronic scoreboards, too, that kind of use the big... NCAA tournaments. So, when we look at this, we talk about you know the best wrestling room in the, the United States of America. I mean, this is better than most college wrestling rooms. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. We got, like I said, we got space, and, and space is uh, one of the toughest commodities at schools and colleges and things like that. There's just not a lot of space. You're kind of locked in, but we had this space, and we were able to, to do something with it, and we were given permission, and we went, we went for it. So I'm looking for the drawback. Um, the kids got to walk outside to the locker room. No, no, no. no you have a locker room here. We have a nice locker room here. You have a locker room here. Yeah, in the back, over our nice, great American flag is our locker room, and and uh, we got 60 really nice lockers. We had 52 members on the team this year. And so you had 52 guys up. 52, and uh, you know we we want to have 60, um, and we want to be able to. 
you know, promote wrestling and have depth and make it, make it important for our students. All right, and, so uh, locker room right off of it? Yeah, locker room right off it. And uh, you come through this door, and I just, we love this big American flag that was donated for us. That thing is huge. It's huge, yeah. And, it's like a car dealership flag. Yeah, and you come through here, and, you know, again, it's really nice locker rooms, having your own locker room and your own facility, and, and each kid will get their own big big locker and uh there's actually there's 64 of them those yeah. are huge lockers yeah those are these good. are like the size of football lockers yeah yeah and uh you know they'll bid it get them and they'll be responsible for them and you know we'll probably assign them as a freshman that'll be your locker as long as you still still wrestle and then when you're no longer wrestling we'll give it to the next guy coming in after you graduate where do you put the enemy Enemy team. You got lockers down the hallway. And they don't have to go outside. None of this no. is, it's actually no. covered, but it's it is standalone. Standalone, yeah. Yeah, this is like literally a standalone facility, but it is connected through like a, a walk breezeway kind yes. of. Yes, so we have other lockers down, and we have we have six or seven shower stalls. And we yeah, have you did stalls. Place. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, we I, I was like, because you don't see that much. No, right? Usually it's just like an open. You don't see that much, but, you know, I guess a little privacy is, that doesn't hurt. Uh, so... And we've got a couple, um, you know, toilets and sinks. And I mean, you've got this huge here space here, space man. This is space. That's it's like I'm, amazing. Although this is really nice, it's not super plush. It's this is what a locker room should look like. And again, we haven't put anything on the walls or anything yet, but that's that's coming. All right, one last question yeah. here in, in the main room. Yeah. The main wrestling room. He said to me, "We've got six full of mats." Yeah. Where's the mat? So you got to roll one of these mats up. You got to put one of these mats up. Well, I got another 42 by 42, and then we got the spotlight. So we'll turn off all the lights and kick the spotlight on for our duels. So these kids wrestle underneath the spotlight. They wrestle underneath the spotlight. And if you look up, we have a really awesome uh, sound system, and we crank the music up pretty loud. And, and so you got seven full mats. Seven full mats. Actually, we got 11. <laughs> I got four upstairs. <laughs> Wow, Coach, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Do you think any other uh, program in Ohio has the resources you guys do as far as, like, this facility and the facilities, really? You know, everyone's got resources. It's just if you can get some growth with them and, you know, get get people on board with what you're doing. Getting people on board. How, 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 much, how long was this process from this we're going to have this amazing room to <laughs> having this amazing room? It was probably about three, three or four years, really, somewhere in the, that neighborhood. When did the napkin drawing start? Uh, the napkin drawing started, I believe, about three and a half years ago. And I've always, in my mind, wanted something great for wrestling. I don't know. As a coach, one of the things I really didn't like doing or still don't like doing is rolling up mats and moving them. And then when these, these res light, lightweight mats, you can roll up, that got a little bit easier. But half of my stress for running a dual meet was moving the mats. I believe if a lot of coaches didn't have to move their mats so much, they'd probably host more dual meets. But when you got to drag a, you know, 2,000, 3,000 pound mat downstairs and everything loaded up and then, you know, it's, that's not fun. And uh, it's not fun for you or for the wrestlers. So, you know, getting a facility like this, one of my major things was to make sure that I don't have to move mats anymore. You sure don't, Coach. No. When, when, when do you anticipate the product that you're putting out on the mat to, to catch up with the facility you have? Because right now you've got a state championship, national mm -hmm. championship room. Mm -hmm. When do you anticipate the product? You got a time frame on that? Um, yeah, I mean, as long as we're, as long as we're getting better and, and growing and we're, we're looking at results and our results are matching what we've, what we've been giving and what we're doing, then I guess I'm okay with that. Ultimately, um, you know, every every coach, I don't know every coach, most coaches would like to win a state title, state team title somewhere down the road. And I would like to do that as well. But as long as my kids are giving maximum effort and they're doing what they should be doing, the best of their abilities, then I'm, I'm good with taking whatever whatever comes our way. If that means a league title, then it's a league title. If that means a state title, then it's a state title. If that means we're fifth in the state, whatever, and we did the best we could, then, then we're fifth in the state. But uh, we're... We want to grow. As long as we're growing and not staying stagnant, then we're good. And I'm not talking about physically. I'm just talking about all the whole spectrum. And I'm not talking about growing a wrestling room. I'm talking about kids getting better, kids taking a path to know how to get better and uh, do great things.
All right, Coach. Well, best room in the best high school room in the country. Thanks for showing me. Yeah. Thanks for coming.